fighting. them to use violence? Oh, yeah, if they can. <laughs> so, no, no, okay. no, I'll tell you the ruling. What it is, if they... Do you have, like, reference for this? Or? Well, yeah, so... Um, if you have it, I mean... No, 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 no. But no stress, but it would be interesting to look up. No, this is not. Okay. 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 Are you lying? Sure, you, you understand. So you, you want to read all of this, but it's all 
proper stuff the, the scholars say. So it's um so here you go. So whoever hears the prophet being insulted and does not feel any protective jealousy or get angry is not a true believer. We seek refuge in Allah from humility, kufa, on obeying the shaitan. So you see, so if he didn't get angry, according to the shaykh, he's not a true believer. Okay, so they feel kind of like they have to show their anger somehow. Yeah, yeah. So, so I can give you that part where it says. Uh, if they insult, then we must respond. All right, here we go. But if they insult Allah and His Messenger first, then we must respond and punish them. So as to deter, yeah, they will So as to deter them from their kufa and enmity. If we leave the kufa and atheists to say whatever they want without denouncing it or punishing them, great mischief will result, which is something that these kufa love. No attention should be paid to the one who says that insulting or responding to insults will make him more stubborn. So, so the answer is clear that they should punish whoever says something. Like that. Yeah, and, and it's, it's not. It's not. I mean, does it get into detail? It's, should it be like uh, I don't know? Should, should it be like? Should an law be the one punished, or should should it be oh. something that the individuals? No, no. See, see, if it's a Muslim country, then yeah, obviously it's the law. But this guy he even explains about that as well. Um, it's with his friends. He explains that where if, if you try to um, carry out the punishment, he says, um, if there is no one who can carry out the had punishment of Allah and stand up for the messenger, then the Muslim has to do whatever he can, so long as that will not lead to further mischief and harm against other people. So, so, so you could technically kill the guy. Yes. No, but that will cause problems for the Muslims to see in this country. So that's why they don't kill people over here. Okay, but take I me mean, by that logic. We could assume that then they probably should use violence. Yeah, yeah, that's what I mean. So, so in another country, you can't use anything that got back far in the Muslim. So what he did was kind of going against the Muslims. No, but see, he's chasing him, and if he's he's his anger. But if he were yeah. to use literal violence, then that would be. Well, no. If he used violence, and see, he could get away by just see, he just hit the guy. As long and, as no one sees it. <laughs> well, no. This is the thing. So if he by himself gets gets um, I don't know gets uh, fine or something for it, and it doesn't affect other Muslims. Then he could feel worthy to think, okay, I'll make the sacrifice for my son. Okay, so if it's no one else gets kind of takes the the, the pack, the pack yeah, yeah, he gets the impact. Yeah. Yeah. If only he gets the impact, then it's fine. Yeah, then, then he he can use that. He as can just sacrifice occasion. himself to, yeah. to carry out the yeah the punishment. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, I mean, it's good to know. I mean, for for anyone who yeah, but like I say, just just read through all these things. Yeah. The scholar explains it all, and so so that's why. Generally, people are sensible, don't do the insults because it is a serious thing for the Muslims. And it sounds like it's also a serious infringement of freedom of speech. Right, as well as. Oh, yeah, 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 but that's, that's what it's not about. It's not about freedom of speech. That is not one of the tenets of Islam. about, uh, see, because I said this to someone that Islam is about making you a good Muslim, not a good person. That's the thing. So it's not about making good people. Did you catch it? No, no. Oh. We handed him into the police for hate speech. Okay. Really? Right. <coughs> so the police, yeah, the police are in on it. <laughs> Sharia. Sharia, Haram police. Yeah. <laughs> Israelites will return to take down Islam.